everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new massive box of WWE action figures video for you, and it's not a current day, man. We're throwing it back. We got a big box from my man John over here. Huge shout out to John. You guys have seen him in a few videos before, but today, guys, we got a box full of his classic WWE action figures, WWF, if you will. We got Titan Tron Live. We got Bone Crunchers. We got all kinds of stuff going on in here, man. I'm super excited to dive into it. We're going to flash it back to the past. I've seen a couple gems in here that I used to have in my collection back when I was a kid and it's going to be super nostalgic for us today and it's going to be really fun for anybody that didn't collect back then or wasn't born yet or whatever and you've only seen Mattel and you know Jazz wears and AEW figures then this is going to be a real eye opener for you man because this is all we had growing up you know this is all we got to play with we had to use our imaginations you know articulation wasn't like the biggest deal back in the day and WWE and wrestling figures in general have just come so freaking far so let's have fun with it man let's dive into this big box of old WWE WWE action figures and uh, just just have some fun with it. Starting out first, guys. This is the first figure that kind of caught my eye, and this is a Titan Tron Live Rock figure. You guys can see here; it does say "Know Your Role" on there. He's got like a jersey. You got the Brahma Bull in the sleeves, and I mean, just look at that head sculpt. I mean, that tells you all you need to know about this thing, man. Just so crazy. I'm actually shocked that they have the Brahma Bull in the back because growing up, man, they used to never have the logos on the back, which we'll probably see on in some Stone Cold Steve Austin's in this video. The Rock looks good, man. Pretty good stuff right there. Speaking of which, guys. Guys, here is a Bone Cruncher Stone Cold Steve Austin. Not a terrible head sculpt on here. Love the uh, Bloody Austin 316. Always like that shirt. Pants looks pretty good. Pretty tight joints on these guys. And I want to make a, a fact known that 90% of this box is in like pristine condition, which is kind of crazy. But next up, guys, we have, I don't know what year this is, but I'm pretty sure this is an LJN Hulk Hogan figure. You got the muscle tee. It says Hogan. You got the great stuff on there. No real articulation. He can bend a little bit. But again, man, back in the day, it wasn't about articulation and, and all this detail. We were just so thankful to get figures. Like, it wasn't even a thing. It was just like, that's a figure of that guy. Gotta have it. So, that's pretty cool right there. Next up, guys, we have a Billy Gunn Bone Crunchers figure. You guys can see the headband there. He's got the nice green. It's kind of cool to see that we've had figures like this from Mattel. So, some of these figures in this box we'll see in Elite form. So, right here on the butt, you guys will notice it says Mr. B.A. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Mr. Ass, but they couldn't put ass on there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Mr. Ass or whatever, and it says Mr. B.A. I don't know if it's supposed to just be for badass Billy Gunn or what exactly that is, but back in the day, they used to censor the hell out of some of those Attitude Era figures. Speaking of which, man, we're on the flip side of it. This is not a bone cruncher, but we have Road Dog. Got a nice Jax Road Dog right there. Pretty cool with that one. We have an R3 Tech Booker T. Now, these figures were very oddly shaped. Like, they had very weird, like, look at the bend in the back and the, everything like that. You can see the boots going on, but these head sculpts on these Jax figures are better than some Mattels today, man. I think a lot of people would agree with that. We also have a Jack's Championship right there. We have another Bone Cruncher. We got a Rock figure with sunglasses. Got a nice vest on there. Brahma Bull. I always used to love on the Bone Crunchers figures. They always made his tattoo really saturated and I always loved that as a kid. Next up guys, we have another Bone Crunchers and this is a Bone Crunchers Mankind. Looking pretty good right there. Head's super stiff. Jesus. Anyways, Bone Cruncher Mankind. Got a nice hard plastic shirt but the rest is that same rubber material. We have another Bone Crunchers. Guys, we have a Bone Crunchers X-Pop. Got the DX shirt on there. Graphic looks good. Head sculpt's pretty similar to what we get today, guys, except they have sunglasses on there, but this is a jeans attire X-Pac. We have a Bone Crunchers Rocky Maya Via. Jesus, man, look at this. Right leg's kind of loose there, but look at that, man. That's insane. I would love to know if this is his first figure ever. Is this The Rock's first figure ever? Oh, snap. Throwing it back even more, guys. We got a Bone Crunchers Ultimate Warrior. Look at that attire, man. We're about to actually, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the same attire that we're getting with our new ringside exclusive Ultimate Warrior, but dude, like, like, look at that skin tone, bro. That's insane. Face paint on there. Got the tassels. Pretty good stuff, even though his legs are pretty loose. Next up, guys, we have Bubba Ray Dudley, and I think we actually have the tag team pair in here somewhere. I'm not... Okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and get it in here so we can look at Devon and Bubba Dudley. Look at these head sculpts. The Bubba's not, that, not even that bad, but this is a really sick attire. You got Dudley boys on there. Like, just look at their legs, bro. Their legs just look so crazy and stuff. The boots and 3D on there. Got the 3D graphic. Anytime you get a Jax figure that has the graphics on the back, you gotta make a big deal out of it, man, because I'm telling you, that used to drive me nuts as a kid. Next up, guys, we have Grandmaster Sexay, and he's got his chain on there. He's even got his removable hat. This is actually a pretty rare figure, I think, nowadays. Like, you don't really see this around. I know a lot of people try to hawk this figure down for the hat accessory and the chain for their, you know, like their Mattel Elite Grandmaster Sexays, and they try to get the head sculpt off of this, too. So, pretty rare figure nowadays, but the white and 
black attire looks pretty damn good. And speaking of Grandmaster Sexay, guys, we have Rikishi in the house. And look at this Rikishi. He's got the cloth t-shirt on there. Purple and white attire. Pretty solid head sculpt on this guy. I always remember the butt, man. Look at that. They even have like the cellulite sculpted, man. I used to have this same Rikishi, I'm pretty sure. I had I had this uh, a variant of this Rikishi at least. You even got the necklace on there. So you guys can kind of see the quality or the details in the figures rising and lowering as we go through here. We also have a couple more bone crunchers. We got a couple Stone Cold Steve Austin's. You got like the camo shirt with the little skull decal. Nothing on the back, of course. Got his tattoo down here. Got uh, pretty nice looks, man. I would love to see Mattel make a black shorts Austin. That's something we haven't seen from them, so I would love to see that. We also have a, a jeans version of Austin. Pretty decent little head sculpts on there. Like they, they have somewhat of likeness. My God, Brad, we have a bone crunchers head bangers. Very, very nice right there. Head sculpts. Got a little bit of loosey goosey, but we, you know, you got the little trunks under there. I mean, pretty, pretty good details going on with these. Next up, guys, we do have a Vince McMahon figure. Got a little, you know, you got a little, you know, articulation to at least talk on the mic, so that's pretty cool right there. Always used to love the Jack skinny mics. I know this isn't one of them specifically. Oh, it is. It is, actually. I didn't expect that to come out. I used to have a ton of these growing up, but nice little Vince McMahon. I think this, this is supposed to be Vince. He's got the pinstripe suit. Next up is a, oh my god, Brad. Is this a Toy Biz Billy Kidman? Is that what this is supposed to be? I think that's what this is supposed to be. And this thing has open elbow pads that actually are pretty small. You might be able to use these on a Mattel figure, but that Billy Kidman head sculpt's going crazy, man. Toy Biz had some underrated figures, man. Yeah, people sleeping on Toy Biz. Next up, guys, is a Bone Crunchers. Is this Sid Vicious? I can't tell if this is Psycho Sid or, I don't know. I think it is. I think it's supposed to be Psycho Sid. Pretty plain Jane attire. You got like a Navy gear going on right there. Next up, I don't know who this is, I don't think. Is it Ken Shamrock? It kind of looks like Ken Shamrock, but I could be wrong about that. Looking pretty good though. Red red tights, red elbow pads. I think this is Ken Shamrock. I could be wrong about that though. Oh snap, guys. Getting into it again. We got another Bone Crunchers. We have a Bone Crunchers Undertaker. I used to have this one back in the day. Not one of my favorite Undertaker figures, but you get the leg kicking action so you can kick your ass. There's a little tab back here and you press the button and just toke Toe kick, toe kick, toe kick, like spamming X on just bring it. Toe kick, toe kick. Next up, guys, is a big boss man, and he actually has his mask. That's insane. That's pretty crazy, bro. Like, I'm telling you, you don't find, like, old Jax figures, and you don't find old figures like this that still have all the accessories and in great condition like this, so that's pretty good. Next up, guys, we have the Road Warriors. I don't know if the other half is in the box somewhere, but got the shoulder pads on there. Pretty good stuff going on. Great details on this, man. They're flimsy, but, you know, they get the job done. Next up, we do have, now I don't know if this is, is this supposed to be Hardcore Holly? I think this is supposed to be Hardcore Holly. Not a bad little head sculpt, or is this supposed to be Billy Gunn? It kind of looks like Billy Gunn to me. It's either Billy Gunn or it's Hardcore Holly, but he's got the jean jacket and the jeans going on. Not something that you would expect Hardcore Holly to wear, but it kind of looks like him in the face, so there's that. We have a Jax Goldberg. Now, I remember before Goldberg came to WWE or came back to WWE, this figure used to go for like 50 or 60 bucks because people used to want to take the head sculpt and put it on a Mattel body. So I doubt you could probably get that nowadays, but pretty nice little throwback right there. Oh crap, we got a 2000s Jax Tory figure and this is this is pretty solid right here. Got a little camo going across the chesticles. You got the black pants going on. You got some black heels. Not terrible. I don't think it really looks like Tory all that much, but you know, you got to work with what you had back in the day. Speaking of Tory, we have the other half. We got X-Pac right here. Nice little decent X-Pac in the DX attire. I don't even think this man could stand flat, but there's an X-Pac. We have a Bone Crunchers Gold Dust, and look at this nice-ass robe, bro. Look at that. Beautiful looking robe. Again, really good condition. John takes care of his figures here, these older figures right there, but very nice quality robe. Next up is a Bone Crunchers Triple H, a figure that we're actually about to get in Elite Series 86 in the purple tights. This one may have gotten uh, the color more accurate back in the day. Next up, we have a Bone Crunchers Road Dog, and he's looking pretty good. Got the sweats on there, got the nice shirt bandana. We have a Rey Mysterio figure. Now, this is an old Rey Mysterio, and this is what everybody kind of harps on, man. Back in the day, look at look at Rey Mysterio, and then look at Big Papa Pump. The Big Papa Pump figure is the same size as the damn Rey Mysterio. Look at that right there. Can you imagine if Mattel released a Rey Mysterio that was the same size as a big superstar? People would lose their damn minds, man. You got Scott Steiner, which is actually a really damn good head sculpt, and then Rey Mysterio.
Mysterio the same size, people would have a damn conniption. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay, that doesn't go on that. Uh, right here. Here it is. Okay. So you have the Stone Cold Steve Austin bike, and then you put the... Okay, so the handles broke off. Okay, so he broke off. The handles are supposed to attach right there. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin bike. Very cool. You got the Stone Cold Steve Austin graphic, and then the Stone Cold Steve Austin is supposed to ride the bike like that right there. Pretty good stuff. You'll, you won't see stuff like that again. I mean, I know we have the Wreck and Slam cycle, but having a figure actually on the bike at all times, I don't know. We have an old Jax Maven figure with a pretty good head sculpt again. God, who remembers Maven? I feel like he should still be wrestling. We have another Stone Cold Steve Austin in long tights. What in the blue hell? Look at that head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt, bro. Long tights, 316. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know the story behind this figure. We have another road dog. I swear, this is like our fourth road dog in this thing. Got another road dog with the braids. Dog down the thing. You got the road dog. That's gotta be like our fourth or fifth road dog figure in this box. We have a Jax. I think this is supposed to be... It's either Christian or Edge, right? I mean, it's not Gangrel, so it's either gotta be a Jax Christian or a Jax Edge, and I don't know which one it is. It may be. Glasses don't come off, of course, but you got the white flowy shirt, black tie. We have another Mankind figure coming in. Not bad at all. Uh, head scalp's not that good, but you got the tie on there. Again, bro, y'all just don't even know how blessed you have it. Next up, guys, we do have another Jax Vince McMahon. Looking pretty good in the gray suit. Head sculpt's not the greatest, but I know people that still use these in their feds to this day, so that's pretty insane. We got another Bone Cruncher, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's got his, uh, what the hell? I want to say this is Stone Cold, but the legs look really weird. I don't know if this is supposed to be the braces or what that is, if they go down too low, but... But there is another figure. We have a beautiful American Badass Undertaker. Now, this is a pretty good head sculpt right here. Like, look at that. Undertaker on there. Got the fist. People use this on Mattel Customs to this day. Tattoos. Actually, a standard really good uh, figure for the Undertaker. There's the other half of the headbangers. Even got his piercings in his nose right there, bro. Got the kilt going on. All the good stuff. Next up, guys, we have Scotty Too Hotty. So, we complete our full stable. So, we got Rikishi, Scotty Too Hotty, and Grandmaster Sexa. I always love this shoe mold right here that they used to give him. I think a rock figure may have had these shoes as well. Different colors, but I always used to love that for some reason. Don't ask me why. And I'm pretty sure Mattel remade this exact figure just in Mattel form. More Bone Cruncher Stone Cold Steve Austin. You got the SCU Stone Cold University with the jeans and everything. We have a Jax Edge figure with the trench coat on there. Not a very good figure, but yeah, just look at that trench coat and the tights and the face. Look at that face. Does that look like Edge? Oh my god, this may be one of the best gems that we got in here, bro. Look at this Sting, dude. What an epic Sting figure. Love this head sculpt. Like, look at that. That's pretty damn good right there. You got a little something special going on there, young man. You got the black trench coat on there. I think this is another Toy Biz. Pretty good stuff going on with it, bro. Pretty good stuff going on with this Sting. This may be one of my favorites in the whole box so far. We got another Jax figure, Jax Undertaker. Again, Jesus Christ, man. Like, just, <laughs> uh, like, this is all you get. You get arm rotation right here. I would love to see somebody try and pick fed with these old figures, man. That would be beautiful to see. Oh, my God. God, look at this massive Jax Big Show figure, man. It's showtime. Got the gigantic head on there. Got the microphone. Got the SmackDown microphone, if you will. Giant jean. Look at the sculpting on this jeans. Insanity, bro. Insanity. This is such a trip to get to go down memory lane. Oh my God, I used to also have this Jax cane right here. Look at that face sculpt, bro. Look at that face sculpt. That is so freaking great. So good, bro. So good. Makes you just want to collect them all. I just go back and try and collect them all, but I always used to love the, this cane figure. Next up, guys, we have another Jax. We got Big Boss Man. Also had this figure back in the day. Not too shabby right there. And then this Kurt Angle. If my brother watches this video, if Brad, you're watching this video, man, you already know the story about the Kurt Angle. This is actually the Kurt Angle. This is the Kurt Angle from the story that me and my brother know so well. So basically, Basically, I'll give you the short version. There was a Kurt Angle at Walmart. It was this specific Kurt Angle, and my brother's birthday was coming up. My mom said, what does your brother want for his birthday? I said, he wants this Kurt Angle at Walmart, and she went and got the Kurt Angle, and so I told her that he wanted this Kurt Angle, but in, in reality, I wanted the Kurt Angle, and then she ended up getting the wrong Kurt Angle, so I, I, completely, I completely swerved my mom and everybody, and uh, this is the Kurt Angle right here in the jogging pants, bro. I finally got it. Beautiful. Another Bone Cruncher, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Again, 
man right there. Austin, 316 skull, nothing on the back. Every single time. Oh, man, we have a really, really old Yokozuna. Looks more like Andre the Giant than Yokozuna. Oh, my God, bro. What's a modern figure doing in here? We got the Ultimate Edition Edge. I'm obviously kidding. This is a finishing moves Chris Jericho, I think. But this has the same articulation as uh, AEW figures, at least in the torso, man. They have that little, they have the waist, you know, that like bends in right there. Really great articulation on these. You also have the ball joints right here that could get a full range of motion. You only had single jointed knees, but you still got bicep swivel. You got a single jointed elbow. Decent little head sculpt, even though the hair was like flailing and stuff. But this was an upgrade in movement, but a downgrade in overall quality, I'd say. My God, is this another, another road dog, another road dog figure to add to the collection. I don't know who this is. I have no idea who this is. Somebody let me know down below. Next up, guys, we have an X-Pac figure. Another X-Pac. Got a lot of DX figures in this case. Speaking of which, here's another X-Pac. So another Home Cruncher's X-Pac. Different variations of figures, man. And he also signed the leg. So you got like this signature series. The Road Dog also had a signature on it. Next up is a Trish Stratus. Now this is actually not a bad head sculpt for the time, bro. Look at that. That actually kind of, I feel like if a customizer took this head sculpt and tried to put it on an Elite or like a an updated Trish Stratus, you may be able to like do something with that. That's not too bad. You got a little something special going on there, young man. Next up, we have another X-Pac figure. So the X-Pac and the DX figures continue and another Stone Cold Steve Austin Bones Crunchers. You know they had to pump out the damn, you know they had to pump out the, the Stone Cold Steve Austin figures. Next up guys, we do have a Sable and I don't think that's Sable. I mean the chest is Sable. Chest is definitely Sable but that face sculpt does definitely not say Sable. Got Sable Bomb down the leg. Got the red heels. Pretty good chest sculpt though. Yet again another Bone Cruncher Stone Cold Steve Austin in the white tank top. We got, is this, is this Val Venus? We have a Val Venus Bone Crunchers. We have another Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be like black pants, but it, look at that. Another Stone Cold Vest. Is that the smoke? It also comes with the Smoking Skull Championship, so that's pretty cool, but again, no graphic on the back of the vest. That used to bother the hell out of me, man. Layeth the Smackdown Rock in the nice red and white attire. Pretty decent head sculpt on this rock. We got a Hurricane figure with the Hardcore Championship. Not too terrible. Not too shabby right there. Got the black and green boots on that one. Another Stone Cold Steve Austin. DTA vest, but again, nothing on the back of the vest. Never fails. Never failed back in the day. It used to make me sick. Oh, God in heaven. Now we're talking, Brad. Now we're talking. We got a John Cena from the Ruthless Aggression era. Got the hat, got the chain, got the jersey. Beautiful looking John Cena. Got the jorts on there. Now this is beautiful. Epic looking John Cena. This is one of Jesus's actually like favorite head sculpts. Like to this day, he still loves that head sculpt. There's John Cena. We got an old Bret Hart figure. Next up guys, I honestly don't even know who this is, but there's no way that they would make this figure nowadays. I can tell you that. I don't know why it's not coming to my head who this is. We got an Edge Bone Crunchers figure. God, look, there's just the head sculpts, man. The, the heads, we could sit here and talk about the head sculpts all day. Got another badass Billy Gunn added to the DX collection. We got another Big Show. It's like the black variant. Got the black shirt, same sculpt, black hair compared to the brown with the white shirt. We got a Finishing Moves Kurt Angle with the cloth singlet on there. Pretty good on that one. Got a nice ab crunch, nice singlet. Holy crap, Brad. Look at this Brock Lesnar. Look at this epic Brock Lesnar, dude. How epic is this? Probably one of his first figures, if not his first figure, but the Brock Lesnar looks pretty damn good. I mean, it's not that, uh, you know, we'll move on. More Bone Crunchers going on. Oh my god, we have an RVD in slacks. What the hell? Pinstripe slacked RVD. Another bone cruncher. I think that's a bone cruncher. We got a little mini Sting figure. We got a little mini Sting, a King Mabel, and a Paul Bearer. Oh, nice. Al Snow bone crunchers. Instead of, it says, help me on his head. I think he didn't come with the head because of some sort of censoring problem. We got a Doink the Clown. We got another Austin with the Austin 316 jersey. Always loved this. Always wanted this from Mattel. Beautiful looking figure there. We got a Mankind, another Mankind. Bone Crunchers Triple H. Or Hunter Hearst Helmsley, I guess I should say. Freaking sick, man. We got the Hardy Boys. Got some early on Jack's Hardys. Pretty decent head sculpts, especially on Jeff. I actually love, I always love this Jeff head sculpt. Chain on Matt right there, but beautiful looking Hardy Boys. We got us an old Chris Jericho and an Undertaker with the headband on there. Pretty nice. This is outstanding. We have a Jim Cornette figure. Crazy as hell. We have a Toy Biz Diamond Dallas Page with Diamond Dallas Page posing action. And we have a Bone Crunchers. Don't even know who that is. Finishing it up here, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. 
We have a Bone Crunchers Owen Hart. That's insane. Didn't expect to see that in there. We got another Matt Hardy, another shirtless Matt Hardy right there with the same head sculpt. Head sculpt always remind me of Joe Dirt for some reason. We have another Rockin' Jersey. Not, not looking so good there, Rock. And then the last two that we have, we have a Shane McMahon in his ex-punk jersey. And then we have a Triple H with a not so good head sculpt. Insane, bro. Absolutely insane. That was super fun, man. I love taking a look at old action figures like that. I would love to know down below what you guys' favorite one was from the box. And, you know, the, you should be thankful for the Mattel WWE action figures that we get. It's awesome to, like, look down memory lane, but I'm definitely thankful for the upgrades in, you know, likeness and details and posing and all that great stuff that we get nowadays. But I think that's going to do it for our massive box of old WWE action figures, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below what your favorite figure was and your least favorite or the ugliest figure you're down below. I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like some of these damn figures did. You cross the line, I've been beaten.